Dolly. Hi, good morning. Um, yes, um, I have some requests about the how to um, connecting the solar pi uh, panel to the batteries. And today I'm gonna show you is that, um, how I did it. So, <clears throat> what it is, is um, it's very simple. If you buy the solar panel here, it doesn't matter what size, but you get the one with the set up. And, um, and it should be just open it up, like when you're unboxing it, and then, um, yeah, you just plug it straight in. It's very simple. Uh, my one is um, 250 watts, and it's um, already been set up um, with all the, um, the safety box and um, whatever you call that sort of thing there. And all we have is just, um, you will have one end of the table there, is um, ready to go and connect into the, to the battery box. Or your batteries okay I will show you what okay, I have okay this is um, this is the battery that I have or I use in my battery box and if this one is um it's a hundred amp and it's um it's a big enough to charge a lot of um you know like the all the electric supplies that you need it for outdoor so this um um yeah as you can see they say 12 volt this actually is a truck batteries here that what I have in my box and this is my the other battery is a smaller one that what I use um, when I um, you know like if I don't use much power I just use this one here but at the moment I gotta run my fridge and some light on the camping side that sort of thing like you know with um, some uh, microwave or uh, like the oven so I use a bigger one here and um, it can last up to like between eight to ten hours if you need it okay this is my setup when i um when i travel like in uh with um on a long trip or something i normally spend my sleeping night in the car and what i have here i have the titan drawer from kings and also the fridge slides go on top and it will slide out all the way so um but at the moment i took the fridge off because i'm not going anywhere i'm not using it so i don't want to carry it too heavy for the car um so what is the beauty about this if you don't need the fridge then you still can use this you slide them out and then you can use as a like a kitchen bench or like cooking top or whatever you want you know and um so what i have here is my my battery box connect to the solar panel outside so I let it charge when I um, like during the day I let it fully charge and um, at night I can keep it going like at night I can keep it running uh, running the fridge and um, whatever I need at night charging my phone my iPad whatever so very simple um, very simple setup and um, I have this um, this thing um, on my last video I show you guys that it's come in handy because um, from the battery box you only got one outlet for 12 volt and then um, I just connect into this one here the splitter thing whatever if I turn it on it should be fully power at the moment it's 13.5 that's very good and um, yeah it's um, like I use the fan when I sleep in here I have a little fan the camping fan and um, yeah it's no problem at all so what you need to do is um, okay from the from the solar panel outside you bring it um you just um leave a bit of gap of your window bring it all the way in here and then just connect into this one here to the battery box connection here that's all you need to do nothing else and i have my battery in there and um, it's just um charging well, during the day is um just keep charging until it's um fully charged and then um, the box will automatically shut so it's not going to overdraw the power or anything like that so it come in handy um, when you have something like this and um, I can remove this um, it's not this is not permanent in the car so I see I got a strap here and then I can take this box out if I have to um, carry the or I have to camp away from my car but this is what I set up for my um, um, when I travel so I have my fridge in the car 
and then I have the power station here, the drawer here. I put all whatever, whatever I need in here, like foods, canned foods, or whatever, dry food, whatever. It's very comfortable for one person, yeah. but if for two, then I will have um, a swag, like double size swag, or I have a side awning tent. If you can see here, I got the awning right there, and then um, when I put it out, then I, could, I got a tent to attach into that, so easy. So this is the drawer at the moment. I just put all the stuff in there, as I said. And then you have um, this one here, you just press it, but I can't operate it with one hand. Maybe I can, yeah, there you go. So you can use that as, um, like you stand here, put the, your you know portable stove here, and then you can cook, make a cup of coffee or whatever. It's come in handy. All right, so this is solar panel 251, like I said. And then it's um, it's everything all pre-wired and um, so connected. So all you need to do one cable connect into um, the battery box. That's it. That's all you need. Okay, nothing else you need to do. One is pre-wired. You don't need to do anything else. Okay, and then you got more USB charger here. That's what I like about it. And then, um, like I said, I got another one there. I got actually got six USB charger at the moment, so pretty handy. Okay. So for anyone else who um, concerned or wondering how to connect the solar panel to the batteries, it's um, very simple. And um, if you don't have battery box, I will show you um, to do it without battery box okay stay tuned okay um if you have um if you don't have the battery box so what you do is um all you need to do when you buy the solar panel the one already fully set and they will you will get this one here okay so one is go to your negative and another one to positive and then you plug this one into the solar panel that's all you do to get it recharged very simple nothing else you need to worry about just make sure you get the one already been set if you got no um, skill or knowledge about how to um, set the box up and know that sort of thing so i suggest to buy a complete set just like the one um, i think if you um if you not have a if you're not sure what size of the panel the solar panel you need if you're not sure I suggest depending some look it's all depend what you need it for if you need it for like a big you're gonna run like big fridge or like microwave oven and on that on your campsite so you have to um, get at least uh, maybe 120 m or even a bit bigger but 250 watt um, solar panel that should um, be good enough to charge all the battery because um, it's, um, it's quite powerful and um, it charge up very fast so that's all you need to do that how um you charge your solar panel uh, i mean you charge your batteries that's all you need to do okay simple all right if anything else that i can help please let me know and um i can give you more um you know like i don't know if um more info and um but anyway, you guys have a good one and um, I'll see you around.